Welcome to the UCL Pokemon Draft League. This is the one, the greatest, the best of all time, the king himself. And we will be continuing with the first round of playoffs coverage. Let's go on to the next battle. The next battle will be another top seed, Philadelphia Furos versus James K. Pokemon. Philadelphia Furos will be on the player side while James K. Pokemon will be on the opponent's side. The Landorus Therian versus the Frostlass. Frostlass is going to scare out the Landorus. The Bullet Punch from the uh, switching in Caesar will bring down Frostlass to 1%. And then the Hidden Power Fire will also bring down the Caesar to very low. It does get the, uh, the kill in the end and will stay alive in Red Hell Steelix is in now against the coming in Diggersby. Mew is in now. Stealth Rocks versus the Willow Wisp onto the onto the Steelix. Roar, this Stealth Rocks Roar combination is going to come in very rudimentary rudimentary, but it's gonna get the job done to start. To, uh, Caesar is gonna come in, reset the momentum, it's going to die. So now it's five versus five. You turn on the Lander Asterian. Hits onto the Mew, takes it down to a little bit over half. Steelix is back in, the, the burn is ticking. And Mew, however, we, will be able to roost back up to full. Toxic will miss onto the Mew. That means that the Swampert's going to get in and take the Toxic instead. Swampert surely will scare out the Steelix in the next turn. Liquidation, no, it does stay in. The roar comes out, what is he doing? He's going for this like really low elo stealth rocks toxic and roar uh combination flamethrower will kill off the steelix it is now five versus four jolteon is in now will outspeed that new but i don't think signal beam would be uh too scary it must be okay here comes the z celebrate jolteon trying to make use of this um this lower tier however it's too squishy even with the increased defense the Earthquake from the Diggersby will be able to kill off that Z Celebrate. That was a, a, win, a possible win potential uh, in that Jolteon. And now it's gone. Here is the Mega Gallade, the strongest Pokemon in this draft format. Roost will come out and knock off will not be enough to kill this um to kill the Mew and now the Gallade is burned. That's gonna be bad for the rest of the game. There's no way to get rid of that burn. Raikou is in now, definitely will outspeed, he definitely prepped it to outspeed this Mega Gallade, Gallade's going to hit, um, okay, so a Z-move is on that Raikou, Gallade's gonna hit, but it's not going to kill the Raikou, Raikou's gonna get out of there for the Swampert, Swampert will, uh, take big damage off of the Earthquake, but it still is going to survive, it's, okay, so we know now that this, uh, Landorus is going to be Scarfed, it cannot do anything against that, the okay a rock tomb will hit on to the Kiram slowing it down that means Breloom will outspeed it what's going to happen now he's going to go for another rock tomb and uh decrease the speed of this choice scarf Landorus Landorus is going to be um uh, going to be slow he's going to it for another earthquake needs to switch back out this is going to probably be it. The Breloom will be able to just stand in front of both Pokemon and win against this. Oh, wait, no. Landorus is going to be able to kill off the Breloom. Will the Landorus? No, the Landorus will not be able to turn the game around as Diggersby had a quick attack. And the winner will be, in an upset, James K. Pokemon. This is the one. The greatest, the best of all time, the king himself. All the top seeds are now gone. It's anybody's season. We'll see you next time.